Hello and welcome to another instructional video from the AHF. Today I'm going to be talking mostly about the, the Sabre, but the overall principle of whether to have your point online, and that is um, point towards the opponent, is the main issue of what I want to talk about today. The number of times I've seen in videos, particularly our uh, sparring videos as well, people say things like, you know, get the point online, your point should be online. It's not that often, but it's, it's often enough. Um, and there is certainly a fairly modern attitude that's in uh, fencing, particularly you see it in sport fencing, but other forms of swordsmanship, that your point should be in line or online to your opponent at all times. Now that is absolute bullshit. Um, likewise, the principle of having your tip offline all the time is also bullshit. Um, different systems like to emphasize one over the other, but what you'll actually find is that most systems of swordsmanship have both tip offline, tip online, at different times for different occasions and different situations. Now, yes, certain masters and certain weapons will emphasize one over the other. Um, and also you're going to see a little bit of a difference between these kind of sabers. This is a typical Napoleonic infantry officer's saber. And this is more typical of a um, Victorian officer's saber. And you can see the difference is fairly substantial um, in that the Victorian saber is a bit longer. It's got less curve. It's got a lighter blade, but a heavier hilt. And all of those factors, as well as the fact that it's got more protection on the hilt, all affect the way you're going to use the sword just a little bit. In theory, you could use these two according to exactly the same principles. But in reality, um, some techniques suit one better than the other. OK, so putting this one down, because after all, this is the one that we're more interested in, the um, Napoleonic sort of Georgian period infantry officer's sabre. Um, the system we teach from with this is Roeth, and Roeth likes to have a fairly upright stance, so we fight like this the majority of the time. And why would we do that? The idea of having the uh, tip online is so that we threaten our opponent with the tip at all times, with the thrust, um, so that we can quickly get online with the point, and that we hold our opponent at a safe distance or safe measure. Those are all good reasons to have the tip forward, but there are lots of reasons to have the opposite where we have the tip offline, or in particular with a sabre, raised. Um, there are quite a few reasons. First of all, consider this. This is not a sportive weapon. We're not trying to tag our opponents with it, um, which is important. And also, it has a fair bit of mass in the blade itself. So, the, um, that is going to affect everything that we do. When we stand in guard like this, and we have an upright blade. Cutting from here is very, very powerful without any actual movement of the tip at all, which means we can cut very effectively from a high guard stance like this. And the minute we actually drop into a point online position like this, to cut, we now have to lift the blade or lift the hilt into a hanging guard in order to cut. But if we go from this upright position, we can from here deliver a powerful cut from the exact position that it's currently in. That's a massive advantage of having your point up. So that's one major point, particularly when you've got a really good cutting sword like this. The, um, the next thing to consider is this kind of sabre does have a fair bit of pull towards the tip. And that's because the balance is a little bit further forward and the mass distribution is a little bit different to the, uh, the sort of Victorian era sabres. And they do, also the curvature, that also affects it. And they do have a pull. So if we fight point forwards, you're going to find that your hand and your wrist are going to tire a hell of a lot more quickly as it just pulls on the wrist. But if we lift it up, most of the strain is taken off. So that's another good reason to bring the tip high and tip offline. Um, the other things I would say about um, tip online versus tip offline, particularly with the um, Georgian Sabre like this, is if you want to fight in a very aggressive manner, and when I say aggressive, I mean in an aggressive cutting manner, then the point high is really, really good because you can launch these really aggressive attacks without any kind of lifting or rotating of the blade. Which isn't to say you don't want to rotate the blade, that's beneficial of course, but you can launch your attacks from that exact position. Um, but um, there are other ways to fight. If you want to fight very much in a parry riposte style, then fighting here, online, outside guard, the sword with this kind of curvature and this kind of weight instinctively wants to drop. And that conveniently drops us into outside half hanger or into outside hanging guard. 
So you can fight in that way, which is, in terms of parry riposte, very, very strong, because instinctively from this guard position goes into a hanging guard and rotates into cut one. So if you want to fight in that um, passive manner, if you like, um, that's really, really good as well. There's nothing against that. So you can just encourage that kind of engagement. Um, and the other one, of course, is the most obvious if you want to fight with a lot of point work. If you want to fight with a lot of point work, there's a lot to be said with fighting on a guard that has the point forward already, because you can engage the opponent's play, dominate it, and reach your target far more quickly than with the tip high. So um, I think that's the, probably the majority of things I wanted to um, talk about. There is a lot more to the debate on um, uh, tip offline versus tip online. We might call it inline or online um, and offline, a few different bits of terminology. Um, in terms of sword uh, manuals, the 18th century sword manuals show an awful lot of um, guards like this with the tip raised high. And you see 19th century stuff tends to have a lot more points online. And if you go to earlier stuff, if you look at, say, longsword, you're going to see a mix of online and offline. With rapier, you're going to see an emphasis on a lot online because there's a lot of thrust work. So the simple answer is there is no rule as to point online and point offline. Um, but certain situations make, it, make one better than another. And you need to judge that depending on the weapon you're using, the style you're using, and your approach to the fight, as well as your approach to the opponent. Another thing I will mention about um, point online, and this is really, really important, is that if you fight point online, you encourage your opponent to engage it and close the distance. If you don't like people closing against you to grapple with you and other kinds of nastiness, then you really want to discourage that, which is why when you see um, rapier being used against, say, katana or um, longsword, it tends to be done with the point lowered. Now, the point lowered is done for that reason is to avoid the engagement. That's something you can do with Sabre if you want, but it's a lot weaker. With the Rapier, we've got that distance that we can lower the blade and hold them off. Um, with the Sabre, I wouldn't encourage that guard so much. This is the guard that you often call something like the Fool in Longsword, because you look like the Fool, and you entice the opponent because you look like the Fool. So it has some uses, um, but with the Sabre, not so common. Anyway, that's a good sort of overview as to point online and point offline. Which one should you do? The answer is both. Thanks for watching.